Hi, I'm Anita Lund and welcome to my two minute tutorial on Excel's Flash Fill. If you're running Excel 2013 or 2016, then you'll be able to take advantage of the Flash Fill feature. Here's something that I come across on a daily basis. It's a question that I commonly get asked about how to automatically fill in information. So I've got an example here that I'd like to show you with a first name column and a last name column. What I'd like to do is create a full name column using the information in columns A and B. I could do that by using a function called concatenate, but I don't want to input a formula and then have to use copy paste special to paste the values. That's much too long winded. So I'm going to show you how you can use flash fill and this is super quick and I'm going to show you how to do it using a keyboard shortcut as well, which makes it even faster still. So the first thing that I'm going to do in column C, I'm going to input Helen Smith's name and then press enter. The shortcut key for flash fill is control E. So you can see that when I press control E on the keyboard, Microsoft Excel automatically picks up the pattern of data from the two previous columns and automatically fills it. We can do a similar thing with the upper column. So there is a function in Excel called upper which automatically converts text to uppercase letters and the same for lower as well. But let's do it using flash fill because it's so much quicker. So if I type Helen's name in uppercase letters and then press enter control E to flash fill, you can see it automatically converts everything to uppercase. The same will happen with lowercase, control E. Now, if you've never come across the term proper, proper is another text function in Excel, which allows you to capitalize the first letter of a word in a text string. So let's do a quick demo. This time I'm going to type Helen Smith with a capital letter at the beginning of Helen's name and Smith, the last name. So you can see that if I then do control E, it automatically fills. And split, what if you want to extract part of a name? So I just want to take Helen's name from cell F2, for example. So if I just type Helen and then I do the shortcut key, again, it does exactly that. So you can see it's a huge time saver. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll save lots of time using it. Thanks for watching.